Okay, good luck, have fun, guys, and let's see what happens. Uh, uh, right, so what do you expect? Now we're starting to get used to these sort of teams. Kanza Crew are very much, um, uh, I would say they're obviously very solid. They won two weeks ago, so these guys are super solid, but they're going to do very traditional tactics. So what do we expect them to do with their T32s and AMX 5100s? Um... Uh, on this map, um, I'm not really sure, actually, because they do have... Um, I'm expecting to go city, like we saw last time, but not go for the exchange, as we just saw, where they just pushed on the right side and they pushed on the left side, because they pushed much faster through the city. Yeah. So, um... That's. Um, I'm expecting a lot more caution to, to, be, to be had because yeah. an exchange isn't their style. No. At, at all. What do we expect then from this bison? It's the only artillery we so far we've seen on Inksk. What do you think it's there for? Resetting cap points or actually doing damage? <laughs> mm, right now he's going into A0, so. I think he's going to be hiding and maybe just providing a little bit of um, firing support on the uh, AMX 5100s if they decide to push because I can't really see him doing much else. Okay, he's moving up now a little bit, but nope, not at all actually. Uh, let's go to the T29 and see what he's going to do because that's a very odd choice in this situation. They've gone with the bison instead of another T32. Yeah, but he's he's doing the uh, the side scraping right now, maybe a little bit too angled, but let's see if he can spot anything at all over here. Yeah, I see what he's doing there. Earl Fish there in his T29 at the front. It's interesting to put the what's the gun difference between the T32 and the the T29? Is it that much of a difference? The difference the isn't there is no difference. Uh, between same gun. The two, yeah, it's the same gun. It's just less HP and a lot less bouncy on the front. Um, the front just bounced today three shells from me in my uh, AMX 5100. Oh, right. I was aiming carefully right at the at the, the hull, and he just bounced, bounced, and bounced, and I actually got a little bit upset because oh. I should have been <laughs> penetrating. I should have been penetrating. Nope. Nice and shot from Earl Fish. Now. One thing I do want to say, and call me a noob if noob. you like, but the T the T29, if this has the same gun, why is it not behind the tougher tanks? Surely its position should be fire support, not tanking. I know they're, they're, they're obviously using him as the least uh, effective tank, but that's not the case. He's got the same firepower as the others, so surely he's the most fragile of the bunch. So surely the T32 should be at the front and the T29 should be in fire support positions. Am I missing something? No, I don't think you are. Um, but then again, um, even though it's the same gun, the higher tiers does get that little extra rate of fire. So um, there's always that to take into consideration. Oh, it has a better rate of fire, okay. Yeah. So it's not yeah. the exact same gun, but it's the same penetration, accuracy, and um, damage, yep. is it? Yep. Okay. Exactly. Nothing's changed right there. And here we see. Here we see the. Um, <coughs> Uh, they're playing it um, a little bit better defensively. They keep the uh, the AMX 5100s back uh, for the long-range fire support, and if the enemy tries to go for that um, yeah, cap from the left, then you already have guys at home. Oops. Pink Lemon just had a fire exchange with the Cobra from um, the Kanza Crew, and some damage has been exchanged, but it could be go either way with these cannons. He's going to go through the wall, will he? Will he not? The Bison's going to go for him, Ooh. and the Bison gets in. <laughs> That's the use of the bison. We were wondering, yep. but there you go. Oh, a kid. <laughs> yeah, a kid's in the street now. Hello. Um, yep. Oh. You know you're on camera, live to people. <laughs> One of my friend's children decides to join the stream. Nice. Uh, what is his expert commentary? <laughs> Apart from the it's MX50, just oh. trashed pink lemon. Squirt effect. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> right, so we have the main uh, combat happening now. The T-32s are going against the two T-32s and T-29s. We haven't seen the AMXs move into support yet from either team. So, 
we'll see what happens here. We have... Ooh, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. They're in the open, so the AMX could easily come and hit them in the side here. No much damage has been taken by either side, although more damage from Spale. Yep. Um, right now, they're, they're not caring about Captain. Here he goes, the AMXs are coming in down the side. Claro, Steel yep. Mojo coming around, and Zodai has already taken two shots. He's bounced one shot, two shots he's bounced. Walter and Olafish is going in to kill, but they're surrounded now. Total opposition and not supported. The AMXs are miles away. They managed to take out a T32 though, which is impressive to say the least. But there goes Zada, and Waltier is down to half health, and Earl Fish is down as well. This is two versus one, and two AMX 5100s still with some shells in the clip. They're going to reload before the other AMX 50 gets into the battle here. So there you go, all the T32s are down, and we are seeing this now. Yep. And um, we see the 5100s are just pushing through the um, the middle now, trying to desperately come down there to help them. And um, I think it's a little bit, maybe a little bit too late. Did the other tanks damage the other tanks enough for them to be able to take them out? That is the question right now. And then we see the T32 bouncing, bouncing again, um, not bouncing, then not bouncing again. And uh, now it's just a race to who will reload the fastest. Of course it is the enemy AMX because they have been waiting a long time for that reload and um, they've just been waiting to fire those shells into the to the enemy AMX so the lonely AMX will now run away bravely bravely run away hide between the train tracks or train went. Oh, he could win this, but then again, you have to. Sorry about that. I'm oh, back. That's okay. <laughs> Kids decide to invade my room. <laughs> Lots of them. And uh, I guess what happened? What I thought would happen happened. Yep. And yep. Uh, what happened to the other AMX 5100? Died. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> It rushed in a little bit too much, and um, yeah, just died. Uh, he didn't have any more shells, and um, the AMX 5100s on the enemy team, of course, had been fully reloaded, so <laughs> not a good situation to be in. There we go. Um, da -da 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 -da. They could still pull it off. Uh, one of the AMXs were quite badly damaged. And how much health did the T32 have? I believe it was in good, quite very good. Very little. Very little. Oh, very little. Yeah, he got a shot into the the as I, as I just said um, before the uh, the assault started. Um, both AMX 5100 bounced on the front of the T32. Yeah. Um, so that's 600 HP wasted. Um, Damage. By, not, by not just going in and firing yeah. in, into his side, they decided to go for for the front, which most likely will be penetrated. But it does have that bouncing ability. Mhm. Mm okay, he's been spotted now twice, so the enemy know where they are, and they're gonna. He's gonna wait for his allies to turn up. There's a good chance the uh, guys are all spread out from the Cancer Crew, uh, all in different areas. So right now, he's just giving them time. I see what he's doing. He's letting the bison do its work, but mm. the other team are now going to reposition, try and trap him, make sure he can't run anywhere. Yep, that's exactly what's going on. We can only wait to see what will happen. Oh, there we go. And he misses his first shot. He misses his second seconds. shot. Yep. If you know you're going to get fired in the face, if you're going to get a shell to the face, just sit still. If you know that you're going to fire oh, anyway. This is GG. Yeah. That was panic situation uh, decision making there. Instead of rocking back and forth while the enemy just sit there and aim at you, either run and reposition or sit there and try and aim faster. Um, oh. GGs have gone out from both teams. And they have a Muppety left. And <laughs> Mr. Muppet is going to go suicide in his bison. Good manners there. Yeah. 
it's always good to see uh, people not wasting people's time. And it's one thing we stress here at Riveting TV when you do these tournaments. Get your team organized. Get them into the rooms as quickly as possible for your matches to start and get organized. Because otherwise, everyone who's waiting your team to finish and start has been let down. You've got the three teams in the other brackets who are waiting on you because your team's slow every time. ETC, ETC. So, GG. That was well played from both sides. Uh, close game in the end, although, again, it was the AMX 5100s being out of position that cost them the game. Yep. This time Seems they were defensive and thought about the possible cap, but they should have been with them. So, it's a very fine balance of where the devil to put these tanks. Yeah, you're right. It was super close. 2% left on that uh, last T32. It was If they had their AMX 5100s there, they would have won. They actually won that fight, I would say. Yeah. Um, in the, in turn, when if they did, if you take out the AMX 5100s, they would have won the fight against the other T32s. Yeah. 